to access the Telegram channel, please go to my YouTube channel dashboard. Please subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Click to more. Here I put the link to the official Tele channel. Click to join channel to access. Once you join, you can access private files there. Now moving on to detailed testing with lossless scaling version 2.1 to end new features resolution scale. I will be testing with Black Myth Wukong. This game will be suitable to show you how the resolution scale feature of lossless works. Right now I'm getting about 48 FPS. Note that before using lossless scaling, you need to turn off in-game frame generation to avoid input lag or graphics issues. Frame gen needs to be disabled. Now coming to the lossless scaling configuration. Scaling type can be selected as ALS1, FSR or NIS. This option has no significant impact on graphics. In this video, I mainly focus on buy for mode and the resolution scale feature. Try with resolution scale 100 first. Performance should be enabled. Sync mode. OFF allow tearing. Max frame latency can be set to 1 to 3. Capture API, DXGI. Lossless scaling is working. My FPS has been quadrupled. Please pay attention to my native FPS with buy for Mo. RS100, my native FPS has lost 10 FPS previously, it was 48 native FPS. The game is smooth. Still having tearing problem when I move the camera quickly. Even though my native FPS dropped to around 32 FPS, I didn't notice any issues with input lag. Now I will change the RS resolution scale setting. Try with RS equals 50. Okay, now with X for modem RS equals 50, my native FPS is above 40. It is better than 38 FPS when I set RS equals 100. Losing less native FPS will give you better smoothness and latency. It is quite difficult to say whether the tearing problem is increasing or not. With normal operations when playing, it doesn't seem to affect the experience much. With buy for mo and 3x native FPS, it's fine to play this game. I'll test it a bit when fighting the boss later.
our ass equals 30. Now you can see, my native FPS is about 42 FPS, which is better than 38 native FPS when I set RS equals 100. Surely the game will have better smoothness, but with RS equals 30, there will be a small problem with UI flickering. That's it, if you really need native FPS, and can accept a slight problem with UI flickering, set our S equals 30, if you want more balance set our S equals 50, or any other value you want, if you have enough native FPS you want. But my advice is to always keep your native FPS around 40, which is the perfect condition. Now I'll do a real test with the boss fight. I'm locked at 30 FPS, the game is quite laggy. Now I will use by 3 mo and RS equals 50. These are not perfect conditions, but you can still experience it quite well. Although not perfect conditions, the game is still smooth enough. If you keep native FPS at 40, you will have better smoothness and latency. Now I can do perfect dodge more often, so the input lag problem is almost negligible even at 30 native FPS. And see through. D the game is smooth enough guys. Okay, that's enough with Black Myth Wukong. Now I'll try a little with the Game Stalker too. I'm using Medium Preset. You can use DLSS or FSR when using lossless scaling, but you need to turn off all types of frame generation in the game settings. When standing still, I got about 56 FPS. Try with buy for mode and RS equals 100. FPS has been by 4. And now my native FPS is still 40 for FPS. I lost 12 native FPS, equivalent to 21%, still better than my previous tests, before I could lose up to 38% native FPS. For first-person games, lossless scaling always works very well. Gameplay is smooth, and tearing issues are minimal. The game is not optimized well so my native FPS can drop to 30. I will use resolution scale to increase it.
Resolution scale equals 30. And now my native FPS after scaling is 48, when RS equals 100, native FPS is only 40 for FPS. My game was a little smoother with RS equals 30. But there will be UI flickering problem. Anyway. Lossless scaling still works very well with this game. If you want to increase FPS for Stalker 2, I recommend it. Finally comes Red Dead Redemption. This game isn't too heavy, so I'll lock my FPS at 40. With the settings of lossless, it is the same as the previous test, I will test with buy for mode. Lossless is active. Tearing issues are minimal for this game. The game is very smooth with perfect conditions, 40 native FPS. To increase FPS for this game, lossless scaling is a good solution.